I decided to do some driving around today. I needed to come to the cemetery to uh, pay some respects to my dad, my grandmother, my gra to my two grandmothers, my grandfather. And uh, I always make a trip here every time I come home. So this is the church that we went to as children. St. Paul's United Church of Christ. It's a Protestant church. And it's nice to see that it still has the beautiful stained glass windows. If you look down the road here, there's a house. There's three houses in a row right here. The double wide wasn't here when I was a kid. The one that's fallen down, I don't know who lives there, I don't remember. And then the two-story white farmhouse was where our pastor lived. I don't know if the pastor still uses that house or not. Let's take a little walk around here. I thought it would be sunnier today. Doesn't that look like a castle up there? <laughs> that is the uh, Lutheran church. These are called the twin churches. And you can see the big, um, what do you call those? Speakers on top of the steeple over there. And uh, every Sunday, the church bells ring. Wow, is it getting windy? Okay, none of these windows. Oh, there we go. Isn't that beautiful? Such beautiful windows. So nice to see the nice stained glass windows still here. And it's also nice to see that they uh, restored, the, or not restored them, protected them with storm windows. I'm sure it's all locked up. Yeah. These days you cannot leave churches opened up like they used to. These windows are beautiful. <laughs> I remember as a kid our pastor had a collie dog. I think he had two. And uh, they would follow us to church because sometimes we'd walk to church. It was a bit of a walk. No big deal. We were kids. Maybe a couple of miles. Or maybe a mile and a half. I don't remember. And it was like a three mile walk to town. Sometimes we'd even do that. We didn't care. We liked it. Let's see how far up we can go. Those windows are those windows are just beautiful. Look at these over here. These are all the original stained glass windows. I don't know what church year. Oh, here we go. I believe this church is older than 1961. Huh. I 
And I also think at one point there was a church fire. I don't know if it was that one or this one. I'd have to do a little research on that. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, it's locked. <laughs> These were the doors we entered right here. Or no, I guess it was these doors, because look at how old that stone is. Some of these doors, I think, have been added. Maybe not. Maybe not. We... I don't remember. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. I knew that wasn't right, that 1961. So this church was established at 1905. So on 2005, it was the 100th anniversary. Is there a bell steeple up here? Beautiful, beautiful church. It's really nice inside as well. Who's that? What is that? Where? There we go. It's kind of artistic, but I think it's some sort of bee's nest, wasp nest, or something. Wow. <laughs> It's big. Look how beautiful. This is the original stained glass from when the church was built. It's to be appreciated, not damaged, not destroyed by vandals. That almost every window here is stained glass. And I used to sing in the choir here. <laughs> this is where I received my confirmation. Yes, it was uh, this church that uh, burned at one point, had a fire. Uh, my mother lost a infant son at childbirth, and he was buried up here in the cemetery. But when the records burned, uh, we don't know where he was buried because the records are gone. And I don't know if my mother ever made it over here to find him or look for him because I think at the time it was uh, pretty devastating to her. This is private property. It's going to walk to the property line here. This would have been beautiful while the leaves were still in color, <laughs> now the leaves are like gone. So 
So my church is 117 years old now, as is this pillar. So family history is in, is uh, interesting. Check out that skyline. Okay, so we will go check out this church and then I gotta visit my other grandmother's gravesite and and my dad's. And this is the Lutheran church. Isn't it amazing? This is all German architecture. My descendants are German, and uh, this area was founded by mostly Germans. Some of them were Mennonite, some of them were Amish, and some of them were just German. So, it's amazing, isn't it? I have to see what the uh, year on this church is. I've been into this one not so much because of course we were members of this one called the upper church and that one the lower church. So this was built in 1906. Isn't it amazing? Nice big cross on top over there. What a somber day, right? Wow. What a somber day to be visiting a cemetery and a church. And churches, rather. And of course, they too have the stained glass windows. Let's go around to the front. Get the countryside over here. Getting a nice break in the weather too, because this isn't normal. <laughs> we should be under ice already or some freezing weather, but I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. Here we go. St. Paul's Evangelical, I can't say that, Lutheran Church, 1906. <laughs> Also, you know, it's weird what you remember. There was a little boy that went through this church and they had to carry him in. He couldn't walk very well. And if he fell, he was suspect to, to suspect, sus, anyhow, he would break his legs so easily because he had brutal bone disease. Okay, this is the church that was burned. Okay. So the records must have been in this church. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> there. Look at that stained glass window if you can see it through there. 
beautiful. I have seven percent battery. <laughs> We're gonna try to get that real quick. Oh, these steeps are steep. Oh, these steps are steep. Look at that! Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> 